This painting of a beach scene by Dugar is very important in the history of the National Gallery's collection because it was one of the very first French Impressionist paintings that the gallery ever acquired. In this instance, the National Gallery was very much behind the times because for a long time it did not see the virtue of French Impressionist painting and so was not avant-garde in its collecting. In England, the taste for French Impressionist paintings was very much due to the efforts of a series of dealers. The Parisian dealer, Duan Ruel, set up a gallery in London in 1870, but that actually closed after just five years because the British public didn't want to buy any of his French Impressionist works. Other dealers carried on his good work, however. In Scotland, in Glasgow, Alex Reid continued to promote the work of French Impressionists, as did the Leicester Galleries in London. Hugh Lane, the one-time owner of this particular painting, set up the Municipal Gallery of Modern Art in Dublin, where he was a restorer and a collector of French Impressionist art, as well as some old masters, where he showed to the Dubliners um, his wonderful collection of French Impressionists. But he wanted London to benefit as well. So he contacted the then director of the National Gallery, Charles Holroyd, on two occasions at least, in 1907 and 1914, offering to loan a group of his French Impressionist pictures. Although the director was very keen, the trustees, who were quite conservative in their tastes and did not understand the point of French Impressionist art then, refused to show any of the pictures in the sanctity of the National Gallery. Things changed and taste moved on. So by the time of Hugh Lane's death in 1917, he bequeathed um, a group of French Impressionist works to the nation and they were readily accepted. His will was contested because of an unsigned codicil. So a compromise between Dublin and London has been reached whereby every few years, a group of pictures from his bequest changes location so that audiences in both Dublin and London can enjoy the fruits of his generosity.